I like my my ship. It's green on it. Green's my favorite color. I can embrace this. You sure you want to do this? That shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to, Hawthorne. It's a sign. Yeah, a sign that says dead zone. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess, but yeah, we have to. Poor little light. He sounds so bad. Nolan bot. He'll be all right. Respawning restricted. AKA non existent. Find a way to the Shard of the Traveler. Well, you know, I've been all over can walk. Easy. Charming enough. I mean, nothing says come visit like a dark haunted forest. But non guardians aren't supposed to leave the city. Here's the thing about city rules. They stop applying once you leave the city. There's a small gap in the wall. Hard to see, but it's there. Nobody goes farther than that. At least nobody who wants to come back. Well, I'm a guardian, and I need to do this. They'll give me my power. And then... We can get back to reclaiming the city, reclaiming the world. We're gonna stomp out this Cabal invasion. Whoa. This is what happens when the light of the Traveler just bleeds out in the world? That's kind of ominous! Is the light corrupted, or is this just what happens when... ...when the light isn't being controlled enough? They brought up- the Cabal brought up a very good point about the- the fact that the Traveler is a machine. Are there other... Travelers? Other... Is there a race? Far superior than what the Traveler provides? What happened to them? Are they still around, or do they get taken out by the darkness? Are they the darkness trying to reclaim the powers they bestowed upon the universe? Let me know when you reach me. I will make you. I will let you know. Hawthorne, can you hear us? Signal's dead. Well, there's a cave. I will let you know when we're. At least that was like a legitimate, like, super signal break thing. Ah, I think we're gonna have to fight something in here. It's encouraging me to pull out my power weapon, my shotgun! Ooh. I saw that. Did you hear something? I saw the fallen. There are cloaked fallen soldiers in here. Also, there were glowing eyes up there. Oh boy. Hey guys! Look, I just had a really, really bad week with the Cabal. Do you have to do this? We're probably the first humans you've seen in like a really long while, apparently, out here. Those fallen weren't wearing any house colors we've seen before. Yeah, they're either probably a standalone clan or. Well. We got a lot of trouble waiting out here, right? It's alright. I've got a shotgun and those guys bum rush me. But for how long? Well, probably not long. <laughs> Another darkness zone. We're, 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 it's a darkness zone within a darkness zone for this mission. Blackened forest. I mean. I wouldn't call it a blackened forest just yet. Of course, I'm not in the forest itself. What do we got here? Oh. We got a new weapon. The Pariah. Auto rifle. 22 attack. Hawthorne forges this weapon out of scraps. Well, it's a good thing I found it in here. Out in the wilds. I'll take it. Find a way to the Shard of the Traveler. Is that... The Shard? Holy shit. Okay, alright, yeah, no, fair enough. It's blackened. It is, it is, it is dead-ish around here. There's still some foliage. Whoa. That- The shard of the traveler. That does not look as inviting. This is it. Right out of our vision. Look at all the stuff that's just floating around here. Oh boy. Yeah. I never expected to run into the Shard of the Traveler like this. 
in fact, I mean, as, and I say that as like, I never even considered it as a possibility that we'd run into the piece of the travel that was just blown right off of it. But here we are. Conveniently. To get my power back. Uh oh. Hey, guys! <laughs> so many of them rolled out and I just immediately mowed them down. What do we got here? A helmet. Alright. Can't double jump and keep forgetting that! Ugh. I wonder what it, what it has to be like to be, like, a guardian in terms of complete and utter physical abilities. It probably feels like not being able to run or sprint as much as you want to. A good ho hood keeps you focused. This one targets nothing but loss. You've got nothing up your sleeve anymore. Thin are the raiments that do not bathe in the light of the traveler. And you've never felt so far away from the stars. Man, these are all sad. I think I'll keep them to show where we're coming from as we build ourselves back up. As we beat back the darkness. Hey, how you doing? I've got a radar. And ears. How you doing? <laughs> like I said, I can climb ledges now. Woo. That's a wretch. What the hell's a wretch? I mean, obviously they're like a melee focused fallen who are gonna bum rush us. Good for them. Here, bum rush the shotgun. <laughs> Okay, well, it's a good thing we're putting on our Sunday best for the Traveler and the light that we're gonna encounter, or at least the Shard. If, if the Traveler's light can really be like a separate entity, that's an odd one. It's been separated, so it's different. Oh, hey, Marauder's a new type of Fallen as well. I didn't really give it a lot of chance to show it itself off, though. Shouldn't have been the first guy to run out on the front lines, right? Wow, this is convenient. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were about to get, I get uh, replaced leggings as well. I was about to be like, wow, we got everything we needed. Ooh, pulse rifle. Okay. It actually has less impact than an auto rifle. Surprising, but it's a pulse rifle, so it can do some serious damage. Oof. Okay. New objective! Get to the Shard of the Traveler. That's the same objective from before! Tickus, the Diminished Scrapper. Well, Tickus, the Diminished Scrapper. I don't have super abilities anymore, so I'm gonna do what the normal humans do in times of war. Use cover! It's a good idea. Okay. Who's coming up behind me? Oh, shit! Oh, no! Ha! Okay. I think we scared them away. Power ammo's good. Shotguns. Take me to the shard. Can blast things apart. Did we swap outfits in the middle of the cutscene? This is why we were led here. 
I haven't been as close to the Traveler's Light since... Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. Do you feel it? The light is back. We're back. Eyes up, Guardian. Ooh, boy! Do I get my super immediately just to, you know, really seal the deal? Or is the mission done? Dawnblade, Warlock, Subclass. Sweet. Use the light. Okay. We got pieces of light here. And a new super to go with it! John Blade time, baby! Yeah! Before, when you were super, uh, solar warlock, you just kind of sat there and didn't use your res, or you just tossed a few grenades. Now you fly around with a flame sword! <laughs> oh, yes! We're back in action with some new digs. Also, there are other things I can do besides just toss my blades. I just don't know the full controls just yet. Hold on, I'm learning my abilities here. I can also just toss grenades. Whoa, that's a big dude. Cervix the sharp fight. That's new! Hold on, I gotta get this boundless light. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we got a level from that too. Good, because we just got our ability. Alright. So, I think they have a new leveling system. Upgrade point. Choose an ability to unlock with your upgrade point. But you do have to have a base level as well. <laughs> Fine. So what can I get at level 2? The healing rift. Yeah, alright. I'm down with that. So in Destiny 1, you just kind of got XP and you just leveled up the entire way through. But now, you, when you level up, you get these upgrade points and you can throw them into what you want to. At least, you know... Once you reach the point where you actually have a choice. I don't think we have too much of a choice in comparison to here. But, with that said. It might vary up in the future. Uh, because we're going to have access to the other subclasses at some point. Oh, we went to orbit during that. <laughs> That's nice. It doesn't... Kick you out of the menu when you go back to orbit. The less things that yank me out of the menu, the better, honestly. <sighs> All right. We knew we weren't going to be without our light for too long, but it's good to be back. And we start off with the newer subclass for our characters. I can shoot fire at things with a sword. Guardians, new cooperative play and crucible play available. All activities including campaign are now open for cooperative play. Use the roster to invite or join other guardians. Speak to Lord Shax to battle other guardians in a player versus player competition in the crucible. All right, and now we just see like a shitload of other people. I guess it's a solo instance only when, uh, when you first start off, but now everything else has opened up a little bit more. Hello, everybody. At the point that I'm playing, I believe it is open to a few regions of the world. It is 9 a.m. in the morning. Or just 9 a.m., not just 9 a.m. in the morning. Swings of Sacred Dawn? That was an exotic? What? Hold on now. I didn't see who got that. Hey, Lord Shax! No, oh, no, we, it's, it's trying to guide us around about the roster. Warlock, get in there and show the recruits what real light is. 
Yes, indeedy. These are people, in fact, in I our have game. I crucible to officiate, yeah. Guardian. Don't make me wait. Calm your butt, buddy. Calm your butt. Speak to Shax or Crucible Access. EDZ needs our help, Guardian. It's you. You and I walked together as the tower burned. And now, here you stand. Your light burns a path before us. And on that path, I see many battles ahead of you. Battles only you can win. The Crucible of Lord Shax will prepare you. In my arena, should a titan stand in your way, crush him. If a hunter confronts you, break her blade. If a warlock speaks, feed him his words. <laughs> there is only one path to victory, Guardian. See you on the battlefield. All right. Lord Shax oversees the Crucible, a tournament that trains Guardians by pitting them against one another in friendly competition. Though the future of the Crucible was in doubt after the fall of the city, Shax is convinced that it is needed now more than ever. Complete, uh, complete matches in the Crucible to hone your skills against other players and earn rewards. That's an interesting thing to do. To immediately allow the Guardians to fight against each other. In sparring matches, basically. But, you know, I guess you do need to hone your abilities at, at some point. Hey, Crucible Gunsmith. Will encroach again. Let's keep every world safe, Guardian. Sure. Oh, I do actually have some glimmer now. That's nice. But these are our crucible things. We don't need that just yet. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see that so soon. Well, look at you. You got your light back. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad, because we're going to need it. There are a lot more survivors out there, and they need our help. we got to get the word out that the farm is a safe haven. I sent a friend into the EDZ a few hours ago to set up a comm network. His name's Devram K. Good guy. Great shot. Don't tell him I said that. If you give him a hand, I'd take it as a personal favor. All right, cool. So, are all the other Guardians of uh, the Destiny Universe... Did they get their light back after I got the light back? Or did they all go on pilgrimages to do that? Because... I'm curious. Okay. Your vision from the Traveler was true and it led you back to the light. The camp is even safer now that you have reconnected to your power. But there are still a lot of people out there in the wild who need refuge. Help them get to the farm. Go meet Hawthorne's friend, Devrin, by selecting the landing zone, Trostland, in the EDZ. Sure, we can do that. So, speak with Devram in the EDZ. So if we go to the director and access Earth, I'm gonna head to the red war icon over here for a mission. If anyone is giving you grief, you point them at me. Or I could just land straight into this area, the European Dead Zone, and run around at random. We're fine for now. I just want to see uh, what things might be available Travel around here. Beautiful. The dreams have changed. And now I know why. Truly, the Traveler has chosen you. Your light shines brighter than ever. As a guardian, my calling has always been as historian, not warrior. And I will ensure your great deeds will never be forgotten. Yay. I don't need light to record your deeds. For a while more, at least. Make no mistake, my friend. We are living through history. And the burden of legacy falls on you. We are the scattered people of a fallen city. You are our last and only hope. Be brave, Guardian. Oh, don't worry. We got this covered, Tyra. Tyra is overjoyed by the return of your light. She wishes you good luck in the battles to come. Okay. Thought she would give me, you know, an item. That would've been... Would've been pretty sick. Just saying. Getting cool stuff. Hey! It's the D... It's the, uh, microtransaction lady. What? You thought a bit of apocalypse would shut down Eververse? Not likely. We have two choices here. Give up, give in. Or stand up. Brush off the dirt and face whatever comes, with style. Even in the worst of times, if you look good, you feel good. <laughs> and this place? 
It could use a little glamour. So, what can Eververse do for you today? I'm not sure. Uh, we may have lost the battle, but Tess refuses to give up the war. Visit Tess to browse and purchase cosmetic items and rare goods. Alright. So if you have silver, you can buy bright engrams. And from the bright engrams, you can get a hell of a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Hive arrival. Modifications for your ship's transmat systems, so you'll always arrive in style. Adds a hive spawn appearance to your transmat effects. Ooh. These sound cool. And then you have different weapons. The Red Dwarf, the Summer Storm, other ship types, sym Symmetry Flight. To have light, we must have dark. This is the symmetry of the universe. Ooh, and you can add flares to it, too. Dude, what are all these cool things that you can grab? I want everything. And then there's sparrows. Spicy ramen. Never forget. <laughs> That's really random. That's... Different for an emote actually like generating a particle effect for it. Oh My god, there's a flip table emote What about everything else what are the mods like because uh, I'm curious Grenades recharge faster when using a solar subclass melee attacks recharge faster than you have gun ones Improves weapon handling weapon handling reload speed reduces recoil for the re equipped kinetic weapon and then you can change the damage mods. Ooh. As well as all these other things. Nice! Well, maybe we'll dabble in this at some point, but for now, I have no silver. Thank you for shopping at Eververse. So I'm good for now. I'm just kind of I'm checking out everything we can because it looks like there are quite a few vendors we could talk to. If given the chance. But there could be more! There could be more people around that I just haven't seen. Although it barely looks like it. <laughs> Sounds like a Morse code or something. Alright, well, with that stuff out of the way, let's head over to Earth. And save Kevram K, or Devram K. Oh, that's just tracking it. I actually do have to land in the dead zone for it. Ah. Or at least Trostland's the mission. And we have a tracker pointing to where Devram K will be. Gotcha. Don't get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough, especially around the Old Town. Just remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. You want to help them? Find Devram K. Yeah, I could clear out a few hundred or thousand enemies so the refugees have a safer time getting back to safety or just scavenging things. Depends on what he wants me to do. Although I'm not expecting too many missions where we actually save people directly. Unless we do get some. That depends on Devrim. And what our various enemies of the world have in store for us. Hey, it's, uh, I recognize this guy. Okay. I sat on the bus with him to the Destiny 2 press event. Uh, wow, he's level 8 already? Jesus. I'm obviously a little behind, but that's fine. I'll work at my own pace. Okay, so Devrim is actually pretty immediately available. That's good for us. I thought we were gonna have to venture around for a good, decent portion of time, but we're totally fine here, honestly. You can last as long as she needs. A guest. And here I have no tea to serve. These are dire times indeed. Devram K, the eighth, at your service. City militia, back when there was a city. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. <laughs> First on the docket. 
Contact other refugees and tell them of the farm. That means building a comm network from the ground up. And even though I happen to be a damn good shot, the Fallen are giving me a devil of a time. I dare say you can handle a few rounds with the enemy. I've seen what Guardians can do. Right. I think it's time to let the guns do the talking now. Don't you? Yeah, sure I can do that. Devrim has been working to set up a regional communication network to let the scattered people of the city know they can find safety and community on the farm. But the Fallen are not making that task easy. Learn more about the EDZ by completing an adventure, A New Frontier. And he also gave us a, a ghost that detects caches within a 30 meter range. Neat. And it's green, which they'll take. Apparently there are other ghost mods that we can make things look different. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can take from you? Nah, I just like all these other things. We probably won't buy soon. too much. In terms of, uh, the early gear. We'll wait until we've leveled up a little bit more before we do anything else. Alright, select the adventure beacon to track its location. Well, it looks like it's right in front of me, pretty much. Right down here, actually. A new frontier. Explore the European dead zone as Devrim provides support from the church. Sure. Maybe we'll actually shoot some people too. That'd be nice. Let's get started. There's a banner on the main floor. Give it a look, will you? I... I think I did, right? Ooh, chest is available over here. Oh. He meant just the entire floor in general. Ah. This is a house of judgment sigil. We used to work with a Fallen who flew this banner. Curious. Well, the Fallen seem to have put this up as a bit of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there. Bit of a story to them. We both need some supplies to get going out here. See if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. Alright. Yeah, I'm making an assumption that it's over here because I saw another player running over here. And <laughs> I'm like, well, he's level 2. He's probably not doing too much. Besides, uh, what I'm doing right now. A high-value target is nearby. Where? Very well done. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. Hold on! There's a high-value target nearby! High-value targets give you stuff! Also, there's an item up top, so I want to get that. EDZ tokens! Alright, high value target somewhere. Don't have my sparrow just yet, so I can only just run around and hope. Run around and hope to find things. High value target, high value target. <laughs> loot, loot, kills, loot and kills, kills to get loot. Yes! Aha! You! Hold up! Putting a healing circle down for me just in case things go really wrong. But we did it. A high value target has dropped its plunder. Good for me. Yeah, just see these tokens. That's probably for the better. We don't actually really need the loot just yet. It'd be bad to get like loot drops and then turn around and go, <laughs> yeah, we're level four now. We replaced that loot. I gotta start using some abilities a little bit more often. I, after losing our life for a little bit, now I'm just trying to shoot everything, but that's not all we can do. Hmm. Okay, let's scan this. Devrim, where did this symbol come from? I believe your city hunters must have put them here and there about the region as they scouted around. I think they meant it to mark something special. Or dangerous. So what could or be both. special? Let's go check it out. Or dangerous. About these tunnels. The history of this region is fascinating. I believe tunnels and caves like the one you're in now stretch all across the EDZ. Who knows what's lurking down there? Be careful. 
Oh, don't worry. I can exterminate whatever the hell's down here with my light. With my fire swords. Oh, hey guys! Nice of you all to be just chilling around explosive barrels! Hey, how you doing? Nope, can't shoot through that. Can't punch my way through the door. That's alright. There are other things I can do. I'm just checking out this supply room here. Wonder if the supplies are any good. Hey! Oh, I missed a whole lot of those shots. Alright! He's actually trying to shoot the explosive barrel behind him. Here comes the Dawn Blade! Skexis, the outpost captain, or outcast captain. Oh, hold up. Dealing circle! Because you never know when you're gonna make a terrible, terrible mistake. Oh, darn you, auto aim! I'm gonna just try and snap on whatever's nearby your cursor and make you go away from what you're actually trying to shoot. Dick move. Alright, I deserve that. I got cocky. I tried to take out Skeksis with, uh... With a... Barrel rather than just shooting him. And I immediately got punished for it. That is on me. Not this time, though. Not this time. I just snagged a key code from that captain. I think I can open his supply cache. Oh! I like the sound of that. What do we got here? Good work down oh there, boy. You two. Keep an eye out for other hidey holes and treasures like this one. But that's for another day. In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Come on back up to the church tower. I'm putting a kettle on now. Oh, yay. All right, we get some... Uh, get some upgrades, although... Uh, yeah, we'll take it. We're just getting our slight incremental upgrades slowly but surely. Sometimes you just gotta equip the new gear. Okay, and with that, I can now use my upgrade point for something. I can also just save my upgrade points. I don't really need to spend them immediately when I can throw them at something else, right? But it's gonna piss people off if I don't, so fine, we're gonna upgrade it for now. It's just like, especially with like the grenade, that's like a choice. So if I'm always doing that, eh. Uh, that I technically don't have a choice. Complete two crucible matches in the quick play playlist. Speak with Devrim and the ADZ. You got it. Ooh, public event in five minutes. Cool. That's one thing I'm pretty excited about. Having public events be something you can see on the map rather than having it be something you have to go onto a third party website and like just wait and go, okay, it says it's gonna start in like 20 minutes. I'll just sit here now. And then you wait, and it turns out it didn't spawn. That always sucks. Now you have an absolute 100% chance to see where it's gonna spawn. You're gonna know exactly what it is, and it'll be nice. Hello, Devrim. I'll help these guys out a little bit from this window. Just kind of for the sake of it. Nothing really to gain from it. Well, this is a cool battle to participate in. <laughs> there are a lot of people just dropping in. <laughs> All right. Hey, Devrim. Welcome back. This time I did make tea for you, but I seem to have drunk it all. Perhaps if you were a mite quicker. <laughs> right, the beacon. While you were tussling with the fallen, we've encountered a bit of a setback. Hawthorn has placed the last relay on the mountain above the salt mines, but even from that height, the signal still doesn't have the range we expected. It's a bit curious. Regardless, this signal booster should solve our problem if we can get it to her. Hmm. 
Dead zone indeed. Okay, sure. The communication network is in place, but a nearby Cabal outpost has been jamming all outbound signals. Hawthorne needs to get her message out to the survivors. Take Devrim's signal, uh, Devrim's signal booster and help Hawthorne by completing mission combustion. Sweet. Okay. Mind your rockets. The European dead zone. The EDZ lies within the shadow of a corrupted shard of the Traveler. Devrim has marked your map with new activities, a mission to find and help Hawthorne, adventures to fight back against enemies, lost sectors to explore, and region chests to find. Use the track the director to select and track your next activity. Well, we're gonna focus on the missions rather than a lot of the other stuff. Unless it's something Considering your next action. a little on the lower level, like this. Combustion. Oh, but this is starting in a couple of minutes. Ready if you are. Your dedication to stillness is admirable. Oh, wait, there was a scan thing up there. No. Oh well. What is this about? Uh oh. Did I leave the EDZ? I mean, it's gonna be an EDZ in a different area, but... <laughs> I was about to go and do that public event. Oh yeah, I got teleported. To uh, a separate instance. Oh shit. Hold on now. Hold on now. I'm vain. I'm vain. I really want to... Do that public event since it's happening within the next couple of minutes. So give me a second, viewers. Okay, so if we open up the director and then track this, we gotta rush. We gotta rush by everything. I don't have a sparrow. We we'll probably get that sometime within the next couple of story missions, but we're busy. What's going on here? Oh, it's up there. Okay. That's cool that the ghost actually, like, will look towards... Uh, what you're supposed to be scanning. It's always really annoying when the ghost, like, oh, you see the little icon, it's like, I can scan something, but you have no idea where that is. Hey, it's, uh, Bunny! Yeah, you better get on out of here. You should've died, but whatever, invincible bunnies. Uh, uh. I gotta walk all the way over here. Oh god. It's for the glory of mankind. And the guardians. Okay. We got a public event banner here. I guess the public's events don't actually spawn until someone is there to activate it. Neat. I'll All take this bike. In the field. A catch has been reported en route to an ether drop. Ether, God. I'm always gonna say ether or ether or, or I guess I just said just said ether. Look at those. Oh shit. Acting like they own this place. Take down that servitor and they start. Okay, this isn't working out. Dawn blade time, guys! I can't see! What the fuck was that about? Why am I up here? I got teleported. Transport servitor? Oh shit. Let's take out the small fry, they're kind of annoying me. Oh, I was not prepared for this weapon, what the fuck? Oh boy. We got exploding shanks already. This weapon is fucking bizarre. Okay. <laughs> it's like... You're so zoomed in on it that the holographic, or the sight, makes it seem like the gun doesn't exist. What the fuck is he doing up there? I guess he got teleported. I want to get teleported to a ridiculously safe position. Oh boy. Ow. Because of that, you know... Okay. 
Usually, uh, I think the servitors are buffing him, so we gotta kill those guys soon. Oh no, I'm getting teleported! Ah, God! I just got teleported midair. That doesn't make me, that, 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 that doesn't make me happy. Is that a... That's a... A harder... Exploding shank. That's ridiculous. Hey, how you doing? Okay, you know, just whatever. I just ran at you, obviously trying to revive you, and you, you just... You just do this! You leave me to get fucked! I... That went through him. Jesus. Hey, it's a grenade launcher. I thought it was a machine gun. Oh no! That was almost bad. Here comes a grenade launcher shot. He's dead. Got it. Oh, I got teleported so I couldn't revive him! That's kind of funny. Okay, we gotta focus fire on this guy. We got a single minute until he's, uh, until he's, he's just gonna disappear. Oh boy. He's getting pretty close to death. We just have to keep worrying about all these ants. He's eighty. These enemies. Ha <laughs> ha! Did it. We finished off that servitor. First public they event will completed. Those supplies. Well done. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Good job, ski rider. We did it. Oh, look at this dance. This is intense. A roving band of pikes is very close. Okay. So, what did we get from that? We got a sidearm. Victory is a process, not a finality. So this is a grenade launcher. Huh. And then another set of robes. And gloves. Just to... Just to really get us up there. Okay. Now we can go back and do the other adventure. Or actually, not adventure, but just main mission. <laughs>